723 First Avenue North is at the end of First Avenue, and as you can see in the uh, for uh, the background there, the uh, fire department is there at the end of the street here. The home is a brick home. Uh, the roof is, I would say it's got a few years age on the roof, but uh, the brick, this is a fully brick home, and uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty pretty sturdy, sturdy looking uh, property. Um, the front yard is, uh, is uh, I would say, well, well maintained here. It's, uh, there's no garage, so it's just the two car uh, pad that's on the driveway there. But the house beside it is a, looks like a brand new home. And uh, it looks very, very pretty. Now, the backyard, by the way, has perfect spot for, for a pool. Backyard is fenced in. It does have a crawl space underneath. From the front door, even though I do have lights on in the kitchen, the uh, skylights provide beautiful natural light coming into the living room. Floors are solid oak floors. So this is definitely a beach cottage is the way I would uh, describe this home. The counters are have that look of granite, but these are laminate countertops. The appliances are in good shape. Cabinets are nothing to write home about, but all good. Pretty sink. So this room, the great room here, is the kitchen, washer dryer, dining, and living room area. So it is just one large room. That's that's I say. Just calling it a, a beach cottage because it's uh, not a large house, but certainly you know, comfortable. All three bedrooms are down that hallway. This bedroom is the smallest of the guest bedrooms in the closet behind. Coming into the second guest bedroom, I was able, not able to turn the light on in this room. So I just want to give you a, a quick um, comparison to a room that doesn't have a skylight and then the master bedroom that does. Neither one of these rooms has any electric light on. <laughs> Amazing how much uh, light that, uh, that skylight in this room gives off. Carpet in both rooms needs uh, either replacement or stretching for sure. This is not a huge master bedroom. But the way they've got it set up is, is not bad. Again, the carpet is definitely needs to be stretched. In the master here, we have two closets. This one on one side of the room. And as you go around to the other side, there is another closet in the bathroom too. As far as beach cottages go, the bathroom is a decent size. It's a shower, no, no tub, of course, but as a master bedroom in, in some of the other houses we've seen, this is a little bit of a small bedroom bath. From the master bedroom, there is a door to the outside patio, and since we're here, Let's go out to the backyard. So plenty of room, not just 
a little bit of room, but plenty of room for a in-ground pool here. The hallway does have storage above with a drop-down attic ladder. And the last spot to get to at the house here is this covered uh, little porch area. Um, I have to talk to him about if that stays or if that goes, but it does give some nice sitting area that's out of the sun. Overall, the house is in good shape. It's got a couple of years on it, and there's going to be a few things that will probably come up in inspection, but in general, I think we're looking at a pretty neat house. I did notice as I was coming out here that there's a little bit of wood rot on this window here. I don't think we're talking about a whole lot of huge expense to fix that. And there's a little bit of rot down at the bottom there, too. But um, not a big deal on thinking on fixing that. 